Today, we're gonna be going over the five ugliest sneakers in my shoe collection, and I'm gonna be letting my wife pick all the shoes. I don't know what it could be. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting, but it should be fun. So I'm gonna leave the room, I'm gonna let you do your picking, and then we'll be right back and we can go through the shoes. Sounds good. Oh God. <laughs> Okay, so he has a lot of shoes, and as you know, my husband has pretty good taste in shoes, but I figured I would be able to find some stuff that I didn't like, and this has been a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. You guys don't know very much about me um, yet, <laughs> but I am vegan, and so the pony hair on the, on the shoe literally just like <clears throat> makes me want to gag. Mm. These are a nice color. They look huge. Let me see. Jeez, this is a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Um, what should I pick? What should I pick? What should I pick? Okay, I think I found enough. Now it is time to go grab him and reveal the shoes. All right, we're back. Oh, I'm interested. Go ahead. Come on. Give me the first one. Let's All see what right. you got. All right, let's see. I, I got, got a feeling it's going to be like some... I don't know, honestly. I'm going to just see how you do with the first one. Let's see. There's no particular order, but here you go. What? This is a Kyrie. Okay. This is a sneaker room collab. Okay. Why don't you like these? Okay. These are I want to start off by saying that you had, you have so many shoes and you have so many good shoes and okay. you're a great shoe collector and you have good taste in shoes. Okay, okay, okay. So it's hard for me to narrow down. So sometimes like some of these shoes, like I had to just kind of be like, okay, these are the ugliest in your collection. They're not necessarily an ugly shoe. Okay. These I think are not that great of a shoe. Um. It gives me very much uh, Charlie in the Factory, or no, no, no. Um, what like was it? Willy Alice, Alice, in, Alice Wonderland. in Wonderland. Yes, Queen of Hearts. Interesting. Okay. That's, that's okay. immediate. That was my first immediate thought when I saw them. Okay. I never knew you had these in your collection. Really? Never seen these before. Yeah, they, they were gifted to me. Okay. Um, it was a great shoe, great collaboration. I had all three colors, but I decided to keep this one because I like this one the most. Did you like red? Yes. I don't so, love red. There's a white version, a black version, and a red version. It's just really, it's really busy. It's a lot going on. There's yeah. like hearts all over it. I don't know what this scribbling is. I don't like whatever the hell this is. I'll tell this, I haven't made a full video of breaking down this, but I'll tell the story about the collaboration and what it means to the mothers around the world and how this has It's a, a mom thing? It's, there's a- It's a mom thing? <laughs> no. Let's just, uh, Love you, Mom. let's take it to the next shoe because <laughs> I, I cannot diss this shoe at all. The collaboration, oh, no. the meaning behind this shoe is super crazy, super dope. So I'm going to give it to you because I understand why. It is a very interesting looking shoe. It's a basketball shoe, like really like a basketball shoe. So I get that. All right. Sneaker Room Kyrie's first shoe. That's one of the ugliest shoes in my collection. Let's see what you got next. Love you, Mom. <laughs> Damn, those? I didn't think you were gonna pick those, honestly. I was thinking something with like more of like the animal print type related sneakers or something like wild. I don't know. Let's okay. we'll see what you got. All right. Number two. <gasps> what? I'm sailing in a boat. What? I'm sailing in a boat. This is the Reggie Miller. Look. Air Jordan 15 PE right here. First off, I love 15s. Shout out to all my people that love 15s. Tell me why you don't like this. It's got, this is the actual P. This is Reggie Mill. It's literally got his name on it. Um, I don't know. First off, I don't know who Reggie Miller is. So I don't really care. I don't think I care about the fact that it's his shoe. Wait a minute. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> You don't know who Reggie Miller is? Who is Reggie Miller? One of the greatest shooters of all time. No, I don't know who Reggie Miller is. Oh my Anyways, gosh. So then there's this like, I don't know what this is, like, but I don't like it. It's like a woven leather. Yeah, I don't I don't like this. Ish. Um, and it's literally Noah's Ark. Like 
animals, the animals would be inside of the shoe. Okay, all right. One thing I can say is not everybody loves Jordan 15s. So I get that. Me in particular, I have Jordan 15 PEs, GRs, and all the different stuff. I like this shoe. Okay. That's what I have in my collection. Yeah. But I can understand why you don't like this shoe. Yeah. It makes sense just because there's a lot of people in the comment section that heavily agree with you right now. Okay. So cool. I get that. I get that. At least I'm not alone. No, nah, yeah. You're definitely not alone on that one. I understand. All right. Okay. All right. Damn, the Reggie 15s. That's crazy. All right. I wasn't expecting that. I don't know. I had this other thing. I knew it. I knew it. As I said before, I don't know if he's going to show you that clip, but I'm vegan. Uh. You guys don't know me very well, but I am vegan. Um, I don't even know if this is real hair, but I feel like it is. Nah, it's all, most of the shoes now these days is synthetic. Well, so it's stinks. all. Maybe it's because I wore it too many times. No, no. Swear. <laughs> it's not like nah, sticky shoe. So thing. again, another collaboration. We got the Atmos Air Max. Animal I don't know. Pack. It's just very busy. I it's, think they're super dope. It's, I, I told you when you got these, I didn't like them. Yeah. But it's just, it's a lot going on. I don't like the feel of this. It makes me kind of want to throw up. The pony hair. Yeah, I don't like that. It's like that vibe. Damn. Um, I knew it. I called that though. I, yeah, did, I did call that. I knew you were going to, I, I knew you were probably going to think that I would do this one too. Well, guess what? But. I got something for you because I know this video is supposed to be about me. Oh no. But you know, I hid a pair of shoes just so I can talk my ish. Of mine? Yeah. <laughs> this isn't about me. <laughs> you ready? Is it your pocket? <laughs> you got a small foot. Oh no. You know what it is. No, I don't. The Pumas. Oh, you're disrespectful. <laughs> These pumas. You just are, call me out on these the internet. These pumas are turned and burnt. Okay. First, first of off, all, <laughs> first of all, no. These shoes, nah. they've been through some stuff with me. Okay, clearly, um, they're very comfortable for working out. I loved working out. No, you be trying to wear those out in public. I do not wear these out in public. You try to. No, when I had them, when they were nice, and then you like literally told me they were, they were terrible shoes, and I couldn't <laughs> wear them out. So I was like, okay. I'm gonna wear them for what I need to wear it for. Um, clearly, some some stuff is going on here. Um, I, I wore them painting. Yes. And uh, after they became your paint shoes. Yeah, but I I love this the comfort of this shoe and the fact that I can just slip it on and like I have like a narrow foot, so like it kind of hugs it really nice and like I feel like I have okay, some ankle stability. Okay, all right, we got enough of that so, over here. Either way, I don't hear it. It's a great functional shoe. These are drunk. This is probably one of the ugliest shoes in your collection. I got some more ammo. But what's up? No, no, no. <laughs> I didn't bring anything. I'm just saying, like, if we do a video of me for your collection. Yeah. If you guys want to see that, let me know down below in the comment section. But I just had to surprise you with this one. Okay. All right. Two more shoes left or you always got some extras? I have two. Two more. I thought I was going to put some extras in there, but I decided not to because I was trying to be nice. Ah, you know, I just had to pull out something out the woodworks, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, you're burnt. What are these flaps? Okay. Why are they like this? Okay, so. Is it flying? It's supposed to go up around your ankle. Okay. And it, and it, it zips up. This is the Jordan. It looks like the Puma shoe. This is the Jordan 28. Hold on. Where's the Puma no, no, shoe? No, 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 no. Grab the Puma no, no. shoe. No, no, First off, first off. <laughs> These are better. No. Okay. <laughs> get, get my Puma. All right. No, no, no. But look, though. I used to hoop in these, like, heavy, and I would always just leave it flapped down. So I have the football cleats, too. Okay. You want to see the football cleats? Sure. Okay. Hold on. Do they? Do they look better? What you mean? Okay. So this is a Jordan 28 football cleat, and then this is the basketball so shoe right here. So what is this sleeve? Is this, like, a sleeve to keep, like, what is the functionality of it's it? It's just, like, like to it... cover up everything so you don't rip the laces and everything in performance. Like, in sports, okay. in sports, you could... Essentially, like, keep your foot warm Yeah, because somebody could step, like, on your cleat or, yeah. or something, and you could rip your laces, oh, like, okay. in the middle of play. Okay. Like, it's definitely happened before. Okay. So that's one way, and then locking your foot in even more. But... I love the cleats. I used to ball in those cleats. Like I've scored many a touchdowns in those. So I hooped in the 28s as well. And I loved both versions when it came to performance. Okay. I wasn't I wasn't trying to pull a fit off with these like out in the streets. Well, just like you like these for performance. I like my Pumas. For nah, you were trying to wear yours at a grocery store and go to places and do things. 
They're comfortable. Ah, oh, see? <laughs> There's a difference. All right, Jordan 28. Wow. Why are you hating on my 28s? All right, what you got last? What you got last? What we got right here? Let's see the last, the, oh wait, I had to pull this out too while I was grabbing some cleats. Oh, I thought you were gonna pull out another shoe. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> this is the uh, Marvin Harrison Jordan 3 cleat. So I like to play in different versions, but this one right here, Marvin Harrison, when he played for the Colts, but you know Peyton Manning? Yes. Okay, so he was the receiver for Peyton Manning. This is the cleat that he wore. This was his PE. Okay. So it was kind of dope to have these back in the day and yeah. play in these, but anyways, last shoe. Okay, last shoe. Oh gosh. Shocker. Shocker. Dun dun dun. What? <laughs> what? This is a total mind blow right here. Yeah. Please explain this one to me. LA to Chicago, Jordan 1 SB. This shoe is fire. Okay, so this was one of those shoes where it's like, okay, there wasn't a lot to pick from as far as like shoes that I actually didn't like. Okay. I just don't love the colors on this shoe. The materials are great. Um, it's just the colors really. Like, like the I, red lining part? I hate the red lining. Because the shoe turns like, into red. Okay, that's cool. So it looks like Chicago ones after you wear them. Yeah. The, it comes Does off. Does this come off too? Yeah. It, yeah. It turns so it's the color blocking. White or black? Black. So okay. it looks like Chicago ones. Okay. That's why it's called LA to Chicago. So it's, like, it's a skateboarding shoe. So when you wear it, it's this color originally. And as mm -hmm. you skate in it, it starts to rub Step off. Up, yeah. And then it becomes the Chicago colorway. So this part turns into black. This is red. Okay, that's, that's red. Cool. So that's but why. But just looking at it, I'm like, why is there a red lining everywhere? Yeah, because there's a red behind that, it. So I'm like, mm, I don't like this. So what do you think about it now? I think it's a cool shoe that it, that it does that. Like, there's but probably still not drunk. very many shoes that that do that, right? Yeah, there's a few other ones, but de definitely not that many. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then I mean, it, again, like I said, there's just so many shoes in your collection, and there was just not a lot that I was like, ooh, like. These are trash. You know what I mean? Right. Like, because you don't, you don't collect trash shoes. Okay. Okay. You know, not you. I appreciate so. that. I appreciate that. Okay. So these are the top five or just five of the shoes. I'll have you hold these. Now I feel bad about this shoe. Here, you hold those. No. Okay. So, oh, oh. shoot. I'll hold it. I'll hold it. My a couple. hands not. I forgot laughing. you got small hands. <laughs> okay. So these are the top five or five of the shoes from my collection. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section out of these sneakers. Did she pick well? Did she pick terribly? I think it's going to be a mixed crowd on this one. I think there are going to be a lot of people that don't like the 15s, the 28s. The Air Max is going to be a mixed crowd. We'll see. I'm interested to see what you guys think down below. If you guys want to see any videos in the future, make sure you guys subscribe and I'll make sure I tag her channel as well on here. And if you want to see any other videos of us doing these type of videos. <laughs> What should they say? What should they say? Just give us recommendations in the comment section? Yeah. All right. I would love to hear it. Recommendations in the comment section. We'll see you guys in another one. All right. We out. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there.